um, GTA, uh, like City. Oh, to monopolize the media, selecting right wing blondes to propagate oh, conservatism. I don't have blonde hair. Not yet. <laughs> Did you know men drink beer and smoke cigarettes and wear hats? Uh, yeah? Yeah, well, you must have read my book. <laughs> I discovered a lot of things. I was also a policeman and an untrained brain surgeon. And they're all the same. All women haters. But just because men like sports and hats doesn't mean they hate women, does it? You self-hating fool. Of course it does. The media, meaning you, falsely portrays feminists as broad. Tomas, I appreciate your coming. Forgive me for getting straight to business. Diaz has asked me to oversee a minor business transaction. Let's hope it goes better than last time. Which is why I thought of you, my friend. I've dropped some protection at the multi-story car park. Pick it up, then go and watch over Diaz's man at the drop-off. Gracias, amigo. Diaz, apparently that angry midget runs this madhouse. Let's see what that creep has to do with things. Oh God. He was a well-to-do cop transferred to a troubled precinct downtown. His new partner is a space traveler with a passion for justice. It's Yuppie LV. Look, you might vaporize dissidents and Alpha Sapphire, but in this precinct, we do it by the book. I'm so terribly sorry. Ah, Gugan Sari. This is one of a kind police drama. They're fighting crime the hard way. I moved here after the draft. Football, uh, not Vietnam, even though they do have a lot in common. I noticed there was one thing missing from this great town, a celebrity-endorsed used car shop. That's why I founded BJ's Used Auto. Every one of these beauties is freshly painted. They look brand new. We have new models coming in every morning, usually around 2 a.m. We... Of course, it's Lance. Hog and all the action, I see. Look, you want to do something other than just shadowing me everywhere? Why don't you come along and show me if you're any use? I might just do that. The name's Lance, by the way. Tommy Versetti. Let's go. Hurry up. I left my broken hearted husband and baby behind. Now I'm living in a commune with a series of life partners, having quite simple, amazing experiences. I got my inspiration from a lecture you gave last year. Thank you so much. You taught me a lot. But ask yourself, are you doing enough? It sounds to me like you're living a lot. Your life is still very man central. You're still justifying yourself by the I am not rather than the I am principle. I mean, I mean you might as well make his bed and clean his litter tray, for God's sake. It's half-hearted fools like you who give feminism a bad name. But, uh, I, I even attacked my brother with a bread knife. You show pony, prom queen, cheerleader, skirt wearer. You see, Amy, that's the thing about people. They're so half-hearted, pick and mix, not prepared to carry out their threats. That one. I have to get the gold court. You must be called Tessa's new gun. Until more gainful opportunities arise. They'll be here any minute. We both better get a good vantage point. Okay, I'll take the balcony. You get the roof across the yard. Oh, really? That's more nasty. Can I go see something? Okay. That's all I want to see. Yeah, yeah. 
bed. Oh, God. Don't just stand there, you freak! Keep that dick head down! I'm sure we've all found this very illuminating, and why are we so right in the first place? We'll be back right after this. That guy, Lance. That's a good question, Wayne. Thank you. 